Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's World. Today it's time for the 1,000 mile review of the Roush Ford Ranger, the 2021 Roush Ranger. Did a video of this when I first bought the truck, had it about 24, 48 hours when I did that video. And that was just really a walk around of the truck. Now I've had it about a month. I put right at a thousand miles on it. And it's time to tell you what I think of the truck, uh, the positives, the negatives, and just the overall use. Now, full disclosure, have not taken it on off-road yet. So we'll do a review of that later when I get down to the uh, off-road park. But this is just everyday use and uh, what I think of the truck overall. So, and I'll also start off, let's, let's show you some mo a little modifications that I've done to the truck. Um, little things, nothing performance, and what I plan to do in the future. So let's take a look. So one of the first things I added right here in this opening was a grill insert. This is from Mountains to Metal. Uh, popped in pretty quick, five minute install. I did a video on that. Just overall makes the truck look just a little bit better. Um, takes away that opening. Moving around here to the back of the truck, I did add a tonneau. Tonneau Pro, low profile uh, bed cover for the truck. Um, just makes it look a little bit better, uh, nice and sleek, uh, helps with aerodynamics. Um, I did when I installed it, um, put it in the day I got it, actually I stayed up till like midnight putting it in and uh, it's a little bit loose, I've got to tighten it up, there is a way to adjust it. I'll do a full review of this bed cover because um, I have some things to say to Tonto Pro about this because it wasn't the easiest thing to install. So, But the purpose really of why I put the bed cover was because um, I need I keep a lot of stuff in my bed that I need protected and you'll see I have a whole bunch of camera gear and things like that one of the things I added was back here um, I'm not gonna pull everything up but I, I went to AutoZone and for 30 bucks I bought a cargo bar so it ratchets across there keeps everything from sliding to the front um, of course I don't keep all this stuff in here all the time but I have a lot of camera equipment and stuff I do video production work um, I work in television so always need to have a camera, tripod, and some gear with me, so um, that's what that's all about. So keep everything in there. The cover uh, pretty much seals, keeps everything dry even in heavy rainstorms. You can see a little bit on just on the edges just because it doesn't seal perfect. Get a little bit of water coming down in here, but not too much. This stuff, all my gear pretty much stays dry. And then of course because I am, uh, I work in TV and because I work in video, uh, you know, I have a dash cam mounted right here, um, which can, I can be streamed live if I need to. Sometimes I weather chase, although I got to be honest with you, I'm not going to weather chase in this truck because, uh, you know, I don't want any hail damage or things like that. But so that's pretty much my setup. Don't really have a whole lot else that I've, I've done to the truck yet. Um, so, you know, but pretty good. So one of the things I do plan to add pretty soon to this truck it has the standard uh, intake fill intake system, and I do want to add the Roush cold air intake. It's about a $500 add-on. Uh, really, I was kind of disappointed that that wasn't included in the Roush package. I really kind of felt like this truck, with everything, the Roush package for what it costs, they should have just went ahead and throw that on there. Um, so that's something I'm going to have to do. It, it's not too difficult. I'll get it. I can put it in myself and install it. I'll do a video when I do that. Hopefully within a month or so we'll get that on there. So what are my overall impressions of the Roush Ranger? Well, I have to tell you the suspension really surprises me. Um, it rides smooth. I mean, I can't believe how um, how well this thing rides. I, it's just a joy to drive. It really is. Um, I will say though, you know, city driving is great. A um, little bit of off-road is great. Um, but highway driving is a little mixed. Um, and I say that because Pretty much it rides really smooth up to about 65 miles per hour and once you hit 65 miles per hour between 65 and 75 you really start getting some some shaking uh, a little bit of um, what it feels like are the tires are out of balance but they're not because I've had them checked so uh, there's just that range there and once you get up to about 80 miles per hour it smooths back out but and it's unfortunate because here in Oklahoma where I live you know the speed limits are around 70 and it's right in, it hits right in the middle of that zone where the truck just does not perform really well. So um, that's a little bit of a disappointment, but obviously this truck's built for off-road. Um, you know, it's not built for highway driving at high speeds. Um, I have yet to pull a trailer because, you know, I've just hit a thousand miles and um, 
really I'm just breaking the engine in and even though today this day and age you don't really need to break in engines I'm doing it anyway I'm kind of was being easy with it so uh, we'll have to see how it pulls but I will say that the EcoBoost four-cylinder really 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 surprised me um, you know and I had a 95 Toyota pickup had a four-cylinder on it and um, you know it, it lagged it really did but engines have come a long way and you know when I bought this truck that was my concern the four-cylinder because what I was really looking for was a V6 but I got to be honest with you this EcoBoost four-cylinder performs like an old school V6. Um, it really does have a lot of power. That turbo kicks in. It, it's got more than enough power. It's rated for towing about 6,500 pounds, um, which is incredible, honestly. Um, the catback exhaust uh, definitely makes it sound mean. Uh, definitely improves performance. The Roush cold air intake, once I get it installed, is supposed to add to the fuel mileage and give you just a little bit more throttle response and power and torque on the low end so uh, I'll have to see how that reacts once I get that put on um, so overall you know pretty happy with it um, gets terrible gas mileage just be straight up with you I'm getting about averaging about 15 miles per gallon that's uh, city and highway combined um, cost me about 50 to 60 bucks to fill it up and then the other thing that's really annoying about this truck is the uh, it gives you you know how, how many miles you have left until empty and at 50 miles the gas light comes on but that's still above quarter of a tank uh, when you have 50 miles to go so you have above a quarter of a tank and your gas light comes on I, that's that's pretty annoying uh, the other thing that's annoying about this truck is the auto start stop there is a switch in the console to be able to turn that off I've shown you that in the previous walk around of the truck the problem is is that it doesn't stay on you have to turn it on each time and what's even more annoying about that is for whatever reason auto start stop if you leave it on when you stop it at a stoplight or an intersection or somewhere like that it only kills the engine for a maximum of two to three seconds I mean it doesn't stay on it doesn't stay stopped my wife has a Buick Enclave you stop at a red light hit the brakes it shuts off and it doesn't turn back on until you let go of that brake this truck does not do that so I don't know if there's a flaw with the system or what's going on uh, you know what happened maybe Ford needs to take a look at that but that whole auto start stop system is terrible there is some aftermarket parts you can buy to install which uh, I think it's like um, I'll have to look at the website maybe I'll put a link at the bottom but there is a device you can put on the truck that completely bypasses that the problem is and I have to research this further but I believe if you install one of those you void your warranty and ex extended service contracts and all that extra stuff and and I have that I like this truck I bought an extended service contract this thing is hundred percent covered no matter what happens for the first hundred thousand miles I mean it doesn't matter what happens to this truck it's not a warranty it's a service contract so anything happens this thing's covered and I don't have to pay for it plus when I bought it I got oil changes for the life of the vehicle as long as I own it so um, um, as far as maintenance goes I should have very very little maintenance costs other than you know brakes um, tires just just normal normal stuff um, that's one thing else I want to get to with this truck was the brakes so you know it doesn't get talked about much and you know you have this suspension and everything but the brakes are pretty standard and I gotta tell you they're not that great uh, the stopping power of these brakes aren't the best in the world um, so honestly I think I might be looking at doing some kind of an upgrade on the braking system um, especially if I'm going to be taking it off-road and things like that pulling a trailer um, I just think it needs a little bit better uh, stopping power the other thing I will tell you too about this truck is when you're stopped at a red light <laughs> the thing has so much low-end torque that with any other vehicle I've ever driven that's an automatic you know I put my foot on the brake and it just stays there with a certain amount of power with this truck you really got to push down on the brakes or else you'll start you'll find yourself inching forward creeping forward and maybe hit the vehicle in front of you so what you would normally use to hold yourself in place at a red light this truck has too much power for that or it's just the brakes aren't that good and it's wanting to creep forward so I find myself uh, sometimes either shifting into neutral and sitting at the light and then shifting into drive or just really having to press down on the brake or sometimes I've even sat there and I've pulled the emergency brake and sat there and then I just release it when it's time to go um, because that that little 
that little deal is kind of kind of annoying. Um, everything else about the truck, though, I love. The um, I don't really use the navigation system because I always use my phone, Google Maps on my phone. Um, but the sound system sounds great. Everything about it, I love the lights, the lighting at night. I love these uh, these smoked front headlight covers right here. I love the look of that, and it doesn't affect the brightness of the lights at night. So um, you know, it's really good. So that's just kind of my review. Um, you know, I have have kids. So, you know, part of the thing is I'm always hauling kids around. And so you'll see here, I've got stuff in here right now, but I've got a booster seat for one of my kids. And I never really have more than one kid at a time with me. So, but there's plenty of room for kids in the back to haul stuff, backpack, things like that. So, um, you know, overall, to be honest with you, I said, I mentioned earlier, I had um, a 95 Toyota pickup, sold it in 2006. And because of the nature of my job, because I carry camera equipment, up until this truck, I've been driving SUVs because I needed the space and everything. But finally, I broke down and decided, hey, I'm going to get a truck. I made room. I am, am planning. So what I showed you in the back with the cargo area and the cameras and all that, eventually I'm going to get the decked system, which is the sliding drawers that's lockable, weatherproof, all that. I'll do a review once I get that. But that is a plan to install the decked uh, drawer system in the back of this truck eventually so I'm still on the fence about putting a brush or grill guard or bull bar on the front um, I really love the look of this truck in the front and I really don't know if I want something covering that up or changing that so uh, leave a comment and you tell me what you think should I add one or not um, I'm on the fence about it so um, they are pretty nice so Overall, you know, five star for the truck. I really love it. No complaints. If you were thinking about getting one of these, um, I highly recommend them. This is the 2021 Ford Ranger Roush Edition. Um, you know, a few little quirks, so hopefully Ford can work out. But at the end of the day, it's an excellent truck, and I, I give it five stars. So hope this has been helpful, my 1,000-mile review. Um, tune in for the next video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.